Okay, so you probably noticed that I'm making a lot of different books for various friends who happen to be co-workers. I am going to be transferring to um, another hospital within our system and I feel bad because I'm leaving all my friends and co-workers and it's going to be really short staff for a long time. Anyhow, I wanted to make junk journals for everybody as a way for them to remember me and to commemorate various things about our different friendships. So this particular book, this pokey little puppy, um, I did for my friend Liz. And one of the, couple of the themes that are going through this book is, um, so my friend, her son, his name was Joe Steiger. He passed away and um, so Joe was also my friend and so I have things to commemorate Joe as well as just things from being lactation consultants and working together in our hospital and just fun things that I thought would make my friend Liz smile. So we have the pokey little puppy and um, I really kind of like bringing this little sort of magenta stuff in so I chose this fabric to make the um, make the spine and um, this is just like a little headband that I got from the dollar store. Um, I think there were like five or six of these bands in different colors for a dollar and that was great. So I don't have a tripod. I'm trying to do everything with one hand. That just doesn't tend to work so hot for me, but um, here we go. So we have the pokey little puppy and um, so I have three signatures and the first two signatures of the story and the second signature is um, all just various papers. So I'm gonna do a flip through kind of as quickly as I can. And um, so one of the things is Joe was a huge Big Bang Theory fan. I mean, he was a super fan and um, he even went out to go and see a taping and met with Mayim, uh, Bialik, and a bunch of the other cast members. And so Big Bang Theory is another sort of Joe-related things. I took a little heart stamp and I kind of put this through. Oh, this here, um, this is, I also work at the FDA part-time. And so I have three, the different signatures have these. So I have the lab work, we have the release form, and flipping through the immunizations. And so that's kind of fun because we work in a hospital. So, okay, so do, 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 do. I really like this. This is like some old printer paper that I have. And we live in Maryland. So this is a little Maryland playing card and I just put it in a little, little tuck spot. Um, this actually is double-sided. So kind of um, vintage baby food, vintage formula. Um, and one thing that was really amazing about Joe, he had muscular dystrophy and um, just kind of had a lot of obstacles in his life, but I've never met anyone who was so positive and he would always say things like, don't lose hope and things like that. So I have, this is kind of a little sort of pop-up sticker, a little dimension, more of the story and um, just various little things. And so one of the things about the little golden books, just because of the size, makes it a little bit challenging to kind of fit some different papers. And we love chocolate in our office, so chocoholic. Um, the story. And I just, I love this paper, how it really coordinates with the original artwork and kind of Put that there and so this is from people magazine um, and we have the big bang theory it was already ripped so I just kind of did my best to kind of try and clean that up and incorporate it I also like kind of the different little post-it notes and uh, we tend to use a lot of clipboards in our work, so little clipboards. It's kind of pretty with the ginkgo. More about um, baby formula. And in all of my colleagues, these um, different formula ads and stuff. And again, here's that gorgeous paper 
I just think that that coordinates with this little image from the pokey little puppy in a way that just makes me so happy. I just want to cry. Um, going through here. Oh, the vintage baby food. This is a picture of Joe. I took this off the internet. Um, there he is in his Bazinga shirt. And um, so I put hope and um, this little monthly dimensional sticker. And I just, I, I love that. Like, miss him terribly. And so this is just kind of a little cute little vintage card. And kind of also pretty paper that coordinates nicely. Some just little um, papers tucked in there. <laughs> little baby on the scale. Ignore the mess over there in the back because I've been making quite a number of things. It's been sticking a little bit. There's more of that sunflower paper. There's that memo book that I've made for everybody. More of the Big Bang Theory. And so that's the first signature. I put a little bit of that um, fabric there because I had a little bit of a gully. And I really liked, oops, really liked this um, cute little um, bag here. This is from Young Sheldon. Um, I'm not sure if Joe ever got to see that show before he passed, but um, I, I just think he would have liked that. There's more of the Big Bang Theory stuff. And there's different kinds of... Mm -hmm. so he's coffee and tea staining as well as some um, food coloring. To dye some of these papers. And this is actually from a book that, like a little memo pad type thing that came from Target. And I want to say it was a package of like 10 of them for, you know, a dollar or two. And so I just kind of incorporated that in and put some of the little stamps and. Um, just a little a little bag so you can kind of put things in. A little journaling card, a doily. Kind of did the little, little hearts all around. So Liz's husband um, works with animals. He used to work at a zoo, so I put some things for um, kind of commemorating him. And same thing with the little Parrot, little parrot tag, pretty cute. Uh, some of them are just kind of blank, so I wanted her to have some, least some journaling space. This is just a post-it note. Here's another picture of Joe um, with someone from Big Bang Theory. This is a this um, little travel card. And Daisy's coming to say hi. Hi, Daisy. So. Moving along here, another little um, card for journaling. Stamps, love, and she just kind of stapled that in parts. This is the back of that notepad. More of the story. So this is I'm with Joe. Um, apparently they made a bunch of t-shirts with this. One of the things that Joe did is he loved to do this. Hey, thumbs up. Um, let's see, I have a little band-aid on there. Um, because he had trouble with speaking. This is a complication from his multiple, um, uh, from his muscular dystrophy. And um, he had a surgery where he, just love that little strawberry. That's just so precious. Um, and you're stronger than you think. He had lost his ability to speak kind of above like a whisper. And so he used to do thumbs up a lot and that was just kind of his his thing. And everybody just knew Joe for, for doing that. And I just thought this was really pretty. Again, hard to do things with one hand. Here's just kind of more uh, Big Bang Theory. Let's pull that out. And so, here is a picture of Joe with the 
um, and how he, um, when he went out to go meet the cast and he kind of loved to take, um, I'm putting this back in this tough spot and I'm putting this down for him, just like that. Um, loved to um, edit himself like into the Big Bang Theory. Here's for, you know, young Sheldon. Um, and into j just uh, different things for fandom. A little bag within a tuck spot, within a tuck spot kind of thing, and maybe the ones from the premium game. Uh, there's hope. I really hope that she likes this. So far, all of my coworkers. Oh, so <clears throat> this is from actually like a little worksheet, and what I liked about it is, um, so Ferdy graduated from Arizona State University. One of um, her children is going to Arizona State, and there's all kinds of stuff about how, you know, to fill out a, a apartment lease, and it's just, you know, it's just kind of funny. So, mm -hmm. this, out. So this is like another thing that Joe did. He would, um, he loved to collect things, and he was really active on the internet with various, like, fandom and, um, collectors and things like that. So I love this rainbow. I wanted this to be Neil Joe and in all things it's better to hope than to despair. And that would have been something that Joe would have said absolutely. So love, love, love. And there we go. Um Liz is just she's just the ultimate mother um and nurse and lactation consultant. Um, never lose hope. So this um, here within the pocket, and I'm just going to kind of pull this out. So one of the things, I'm just kind of undoing it. This is an article that Joe had written for Grok Nation, which is, I guess, like an internet magazine. And he wrote um, this really positive article. You can look it up if you type in Joe Steiger and Grok Nation you can find this um, article. And so I cut this out and um, this life. So I think that she'll really like to have it in there and cut it to, size it and cut it to fit into here. So I'm tucking that, tucking that back in. So here's another little thing about, about um, Birdie. And um, some, things. I thought that was like kind of sweet and precious. So, different. I'm challenging to do this with one hand. So <clears throat> this is really sweet and I, I just love it. I'm going to pull this out. So at Value Village I bought a um, couple of stacks of paper and, and these vintage cards were inside and they had all these images of a very young mother with a baby and I just thought that that was really really sweet I'm trying to kind of look at the it says you know it's copyright Westcraft Boston USA but I'm really not sure what year this is from checking that back where it's living and coming up towards the end here more vintage baby food and all of that. So a little bit of glare, but um, pain is real, but so is hope. And um, do the little clouds. I thought that was kind of a nice way to kind of end things. And I was having a little bit of trouble with the glue, but um, here we go. And that is the pokey little puppy for my friend Liz.